About once every two years, most drivers in Illinois have to get an emissions test to renew their license plates, and it can be quite a headache if you live in the city of Chicago. Frustrating. It takes forever. I've definitely waited hours, two, three hours, and you have to kind of like plan your whole day around it. Get out of work early if you can get there and you just sit in your car. This video shows just how long the line can get at the vehicle emissions testing site in Skokie, more than 100 cars deep. Well, I got the notice in the mail and then went to look where I could do it. And when I realized that there were no locations in Chicago, I was surprised and frustrated. Back in 2016, former Governor Bruce Rauner privatized the vehicle emissions testing system, closing four of 20 locations in the Chicagoland area in Bucktown, Harwood Heights, Elk Grove Village and Tinley Park, leaving no sites at all open in the city of Chicago. The move was a cost cutting measure to save an estimated $100 million over 10 years, but has left a lot of people few for working families and families who have to pick their kids up from school, this is really a problem, especially, you know, hourly wage workers and it's really inconvenient. We need to make things easier for people, not more difficult. In 2022, Senator Sarah Feigenhol sponsored a bill that Governor J.B. Pritzker signed into law, directing the Illinois EPA to replace the two dismantled Chicago emission sites. They wanted a little time to do a report. That report was submitted on time and they established their own goal of having this up and running by September 1st, which has come and gone. And if that wasn't the case, shouldn't the Illinois EPA have at least told us when to expect when these are coming? In its report from January of last year, the EPA says it planned to reopen the 10 lane test station on Forest Preserve Drive in Harwood Heights and create six smaller one lane locations across the city, as well as install four self serve kiosks and utilize a mobile testing unit. I did receive phone calls from the EPA about some hiccups and some um, administrative obstacles that they had to clear out of the way, but one would have thought by now that they'd be done. I'm hoping that this happens soon and just that like we eliminate this chapter of having to drive and spend hours and hours wasting our time to get this important thing done. We did reach out to the Illinois EPA for comment. A spokesperson tells us that a contract was signed with a vendor and that implementation of this new program is set to go live this coming spring. In Skokie, Dana Rebic, WGN News.